Hi everyone, this is Phil Travis and uh, History 448 uh, here at EOU, Modern Russia, um, week two. My dog Mossy has decided to join us for the announcement today. So say hi Mossy. Hey Mossy. Uh, Mossy's uh, two and a half, he's my dog. Anyway, uh, to the announcements of pertinence. Um, this week we have a quiz and we're also reading primarily chapters three and four from service. Um, there's a little section I want you to read from the Lenin work as well. But uh, the primary uh, reading this week will be chapter three and four from service. We will have a quiz on chapter three and four. The quiz has a 25 minute time limit and it is it is um, 10 multiple choice true false questions. Um, I try to follow the readings in order, so they're from chapter 3 and 4 from the service reading, so read those chapters, read them closely, use a highlighter to allow yourself to kind of highlight big points, then take the quiz, and if you highlight well, you'll be able to pick out the key points in each paragraph as you look through it and you try to find the answers, so um, use a highlighter, read it first, then take the quiz. The quiz is um, is ten questions, multiple choice, true, false, and um, it's from the readings from service chapter three and four. So uh, service reading this week, quiz this week, um, and our discussion forum as usual. Uh, remember, make your first post to this discussion forum no later than Thursday, and I want to see two replies to class classmates, and I want to see activity over two two separate days during the week. For full credit, so that should be pretty clear to everybody uh, at this point. Um, uh, factoid for this week: our our fun extra credit um, activity. Factoid for this week is that we are talking about uh, this week. We're going to be watching the presentation and reading about the Bolshevik Revolution. We're going to be looking at the dual revolutions of 1917. There were two actually. There was the first revolution, which overthrew the Tsar and put the government of Alexander Kurnsky in power. And then there was, of course, the October Revolution of 1917, which is the Bolshevik Revolution. Well, uh, the presentation this week, which I encourage you to watch the presentation. It's like 25 minutes. Um, so I would encourage you to watch that in addition to doing the reading. I think it will help you with, uh, with the quiz. But um, after the Bolshevik Revolution, Western powers were pretty concerned about what the Bolshevik Revolution might mean for, um, for Europe and the world. And this actually led the United States to send, and there were some other powers who sent um, armed forces as well, but the trivia is, or the factoid is, the United States from 1918 to 1920 actually sent uh, the American Expeditionary Force um, to areas of Siberia, uh, Vlad Vladivostok uh, to be specific, um, to participate in um, the, the war between the Bolsheviks, the Reds, and the Whites that were fighting in Russia. After the Bolshevik Revolution, you have um, a period of, of conflict between the so-called Reds, the Bolsheviks, and the Whites. And uh, the United States was very concerned about the possibility of a Bolshevik communist um, control in Russia, there were other diplomatic concerns that the Woodrow Wilson administration had as well. Um, and this led the, uh, the United States to actually send an expeditionary force to Russia, which stayed from 1918 to 1920. Um, the expeditionary force um, was, uh, it, it failed in its objectives, and it was a small amount of, of, of individuals. Um, at least I think most would probably um, agree that it was, it was a failure in its objectives, but uh, but the factoid is uh, that the United States actually sent military forces to Russia after the Bolshevik Revolution between 1918 and 1920 as a reaction to uh, the conflict involving the rise of the Bolsheviks in, uh, in Russia and the, the creation of the Soviet Union, which we're going to start talking about you know, in our class very soon. So it's going to get kind of fun. All right, guys. So let's have a great week. Please let me know if you have any questions. Um, don't forget we have a quiz. Of course, I've said that like five times. So say bye to Mossy. See you guys. See you guys. <laughs> All right. See you guys.